There's nothing more satisfying than a glass of good beer. And the better the beer, the greater the satisfaction you get from the drinking of it. The way to experience the most pleasure from your glass of beer is sure and simple. When you hear this friendly question, what'll you have? Join the millions clear around the world who always ask for Pabst Blue Ribbon, the finest and most satisfying of them all. How to score tonight's Pabst Blue Ribbon Bounce. The round system is used in Louisiana. For example, if you think Ralph Dupas wins the first round, put an X here. If you think Dennis Pat Brady wins the second round, put an X here. Here in New Orleans, no draws are permitted. In the event the rounds end up even, the judges and referee must award the fight to one contender or the other on the basis of aggressiveness or for any other reason they feel is advisable. Now you're looking down in the ring at the Coliseum here in New Orleans. Well, Ralph Dupas of New Orleans in the favorite of the French Quarter is going to try and continue his spectacular rise up the lightweight ladder here tonight against Dennis Pat Brady. They're ready for the announcement of the main event, and here's the ring announcer, Duke Durrell. Okay. This is a 10-round Blue Ribbon feature attraction. It has been sanctioned by the Louisiana State Athletic Commission, Tom Nilliton Chairman, Pete Slipikoff, Vice Chairman, Emil Bruno, Secretary, and the members, the former Bantamweight Champion of the World, Pete Herman, and Mike Pusamana. The physician in attendance, Dr. William C. Quinn. The timekeeper, Jerry Kushler. Counting the knockdowns at the bell, Joseph Paletti. The judges, Eddie Kidwolf, and Francis Kershaval, the referee, Pete Jerusa, and the principals, wearing white trunks, weighing one, three, eight, and three quarters. From the Bronx in New York comes Dennis Pet Brady. His opponent, Weighing 137, wherein black trunks, the fifth ranking lightweight of the world, the southern lightweight champion, Ralph Dupas. The referee is Pete Geruso, and he is giving the briefing of the instructions to both fighters as we prepare for the opening round. Ralph Dupas is the number five ranking lightweight, as you heard him announced, and this is only his third 10-round event. His rise among the lightweights of the nation has been spectacular. He's only 18 years old. As a matter of fact, he's still in high school. We're looking at Dennis Pat Brady as he returns to his corner, and we're about ready for round number one. in the black trunks. been opened in the outer corner of the left eye of Dennis Pat Brady. Referee Jerusalem warns Brady much 
more pointedly as he appears to be trying to wrestle Dupas through the ropes. slightly cut. tonight to make up what he feels was a poor performance his last time out here in New Orleans against Santiago Esteban. Although he won the fight, he was not at all happy with himself. And he is starting out very fast here tonight. And of course, this fight tonight is very important to him in his attempt to uh, continue his climb up the lightweight ladder, which has been a very fast rise indeed. This is his third 10-rounder, and he has moved into the top rankings among the nation's lightweights to the ranking of number five. Across the ring, they're uh, taking some good care of the eyes of Dennis Pat Brady. Both eyes were cut very slightly. Neither cut uh, was, uh, to the extent it was opened in that first round, anything for Brady or his handlers to get concerned about. But, of course, it is the aggravating of those injuries that caused the trouble. style now trying to get into a crouch since most of uh, Dupas punches were hooks or crossing right hands he's trying to get low and uh, somewhat out of the range of them the cut in the right eye of Brady has been reopened down below the eyebrow in the lid could develop into a serious cut if Dupas can pop it very often in the course of the spike. It looked like a bigger right hand than it was. Dupas got the punch to the head a little early. His wrist was bent back a bit, and it was more of a slap than a punch. It was not a damaging blow, although it sounded pretty loud. Trunks got the warning. One minute left in round number two.
three coming up. We're looking into the corner of Ralph Dupas. He's in the black trunks. Dupas has to continue respectful of the punch of Dennis Pat Brady. Brady's 173 out of 95 fights, and 32 of those 73 victories came by a knockout. Five draw or five defeats and four draws. The right eye of Brady has been opened again and is bleeding heavier now than at any time thus far in the fight. stance very easily. Dances with his right and then his left foot forward. And, uh, it's my pleasure to bring to you one of the most distinguished citizens of the state of Louisiana who's down here to watch the fight and who has done an able job of welcoming us to the state and to New Orleans, Lieutenant Governor Barham. Jack, I'm really enjoying the fight and I appreciate you people bringing this event to Louisiana, originating here in our past state. I want to invite all the people looking at this event to come to Louisiana and see our past state. <laughs> Those sportsmen who fish, everybody's catching the limit now, Jack. <laughs> well, uh, Governor Barham, this is indeed a wonderful place to come to, and I can second your invitation with a recommendation, and thank you very, very much. Thank you, Jack. Lieutenant Governor Barham of the uh, state of Louisiana. Did not land that 
flurry that followed the quick series of left hand shots the quick covey of lefts and rights did not find their mark Brady as a matter of fact got the best of it in that infighting he did score to the body but the right eye of Pat Brady has been opened up again and referee Jeruso takes a long look at it as he breaks him from the clinch He's bleeding rather heavily now Dennis Pat Brady, Dr. William Quinn, the commission physician, was up looking at that eye between rounds, and he said something to the referee. The right eye of Dennis Pat Brady is cut in a dangerous place along the lid. It is yet a cut of about a half inch in length. But anything further, uh, opening up that cut could cause this fight to be stopped abruptly. Yeah, Dupas, in addition to being very busy with his fists, is quick in his defensive reactions. in the black trunks, Dennis Pat Brady in the white, white coming to you from the Coliseum in New Orleans, Louisiana, another in your continuing parade of blue ribbon bonds. Two 
Ross may be beginning to feel the effects of a very fast pace and is getting his rest at the expense of Brady leaning on him when he can force him against the ropes. Jack Drees as round number six comes up here at the New Orleans Coliseum. We're looking into the corner of Ralph Dupas of New Orleans. Fighting Dennis Pat Brady in the white trunks. Russo hasn't warned Ralph Dupas as yet, but it's uh, easy to tell from his facial expression he's getting disenchanted with the laying on of Dupas when he gets Brady against the ropes. seconds remaining in round number six. seven coming up. Dennis Pat Brady taking those deep gulps of welcome air. Brady might get a good deal tougher as this fight gets into its closing rounds. Dupas has thrown about everything he owns at him. And Brady is still there asking for more and Dupas is showing signs of slowing down in the face just a bit. He's able to open each round with a good strong flurry. bit of mixing in the fight. The two fighters standing and slugging it out toe to toe. <laughs> Pete Jerusalem, the referee, finally warns. 
About the heavy leaning act that Dupas has been uh, working on Brady throughout the night. Geigerman in association with the International Boxing Club. to go in the seventh round. suffering from mental illness. Your dollars are needed to provide more research, more clinics, better hospitals. Give to the Mental Health Fund in care of your postmaster. A note for you sports car fans around Washington, D.C. this coming Sunday, May 2nd. The largest sports car race has ever held in this country will take place at Andrews Air Force Base just outside of Washington, D.C. Over 160 drivers are already entered for this tremendous sports car spectacle. That's next Sunday all day at Andrews Air Force Base just outside Washington, D.C. <laughs> Round number eight coming up. Three more rounds of boxing. Obviously confused when he tries to lead with a big punch. Either a surprise right hand or a heavy hook. He's been missing Dupas by inches. Remember the round system of scoring is used in Louisiana. that no draw decisions are permitted. In the event the rounds come out even, the judges and the referee must pick a winner. Forty-eight 
45 seconds left in round number eight. Brady has not given him any concern in the last couple of rounds. The bleeding has been thoroughly stopped, but now Dupas has opened up that cut in the corner of the left eye once again. Both eyes were open slightly in the first round, and Dupas has been pecking away merrily at the right eye. Now has opened up the left eye. The cut is not serious, however. It's still a slight cut, but the blood is flowing from it slightly. Number nine coming up. This is Dennis Pat Brady against Ralph Dupas. quickly from a normal to a left-handed stance. Alternating with right jabs is against left jabs. Again, the southpaw stance. One minute left in the ninth round. happy to announce that again this year we'll continue to bring you these famous Wednesday night bouts throughout the summer months and we've got some terrific battles coming up in the next five weeks. You already know about Holly Mims against George Johnson in Baltimore next Wednesday night. Two weeks from tonight on May 12th the light heavyweight champion Archie Moore meets Jimmy Slade and Jimmy Slade has signified his readiness for that battle by his big decision over the sensational Hurricane Jackson. And three weeks from tonight on May 19th It'll be the fast-coming Waldaway Jet Black, a Michigan State college mate of Chuck Davey against Carmen Fiore. Four weeks from tonight, Chuck Davey will be meeting Vince Martinez in the Chicago Stadium. Five weeks from tonight, on the 2nd of June, the big 15-round World's Lightweight Championship. Direct from the San Francisco Cow Palace, when the champion, Patty DeMarco, will go against the man from whom he took the title, the former champion, Jimmy Carter. Number 10.
minutes left in the fight. There's a minute left in the fight. in the fight. decision in just a moment. We're waiting now for the uh, score sheet to be tallied up so ring announcer Duke Durrell can give us the decision. Fighters are having their gloves and hand bandages stripped off. And here is the decision. and you see the upraised hand of the winner, Ralph Dupas, winner of a unanimous decision over Dennis Pat Brady here in the ring tonight. All the officials gave Dupas six of the ten rounds. The two judges found two of the rounds even. The referee uh, gave four rounds to Dennis Pat Brady. Now, don't go away because in a moment we'll tell you about next week's fight. The Gillette Cavalcade of Sports is on the air.
good evening. This is Jimmy Powers greeting you from Madison Square Garden in New York City and welcoming you to television ringside for the Gillette Safety Razor Company. Tonight we bring you a 10-round lightweight bout between Johnny Busso, who is about to come in the ring in the left corner. Here he is coming down the aisle, Johnny Busso of Astoria, Long Island, and in the uh, other corner, his opponent, Carlos Ortiz, of New York City just taking a drink out of his water bottle. Gillette telecast the major boxing event of the week every Friday night and such attractions as the World Series, World's Invitational Match Game Bowling Championships, Blue and Gray Football Game, Rose Bowl Game, Kentucky Derby, and the All-Star Baseball Game. This is our thanks to you for using Gillette products. The weather to New York in tonight is cloudy, humidity 70%, temperature 63 uh, degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, here's sensation.